Without doubt, climate change is the greatest environmental challenge facing the world today. And everywhere you look, you can see what's causing it to change. Us. Me. All of us. We all, in some way, are changing the global climate mainly by burning fossil fuels which create greenhouse gases. In fact, if everyone in the world consumed natural resources and generated carbon dioxide at the rate we do in the UK, we wouldn't need just one. We'd need three planets to support us. Greenhouse gases act as insulation for the world's atmosphere. And, as the global climate warms, the weather becomes more unstable. As the sea gets warmer, it expands like the liquid in a thermometer, and melting ice will add to rising sea levels. The National Trust say that more than 140 miles of the Welsh coastline are at risk from storms and flooding in the next 100 years. It's not just the richest nations that will be affected either. Some of the poorest countries, who produce very little greenhouse gases, will see the loss of their most productive land and their people at risk from hunger and disease. Climate change is inescapable. The fact is that even if we were to stop all emissions now, the greenhouse gases already in the atmosphere would go on warming it for decades. What can we do to reduce our use of fossil fuels and the emission of greenhouse gases? We could decide to go back to the simple life. Do without electricity and cars and anything else that causes climate change. Or we could, of course, do nothing. We could try as much as we can to reduce greenhouse gases and plan a more sustainable future for ourselves. Or we could go on using more and more energy and simply rely on technology alone to get us out of the problem. Whatever happens, we're going to continue needing energy over the coming years. The trick is to reduce how much we need and the impact on the planet in creating it. Assuming we're not all going to go right back to basics, or content to do nothing, what can we do to produce energy in a more climate-friendly way?